GameStop. 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 It's one of the most volatile weeks on Wall Street. Social media average Joes versus big money players. A David and Goliath struggle. There was a lot of swings in terms of being happy and then a lot of very depressing moments. I saw the numbers go up by the number I said I've never seen them before in my bank account and go down within five minutes. It was a roller coaster of emotions. I've been following Wall Street bets for about a solid, you know, like eight, nine months already. I fell in love with the community. I, I was I was liking seeing uh, how many people lost making these stupid, you know, trades and all that stuff. But at the same time, there's this other side where they were actually doing their research and making lots of money too. My ride with GameStop began when GameStop was actually gaining traction. The price was like, oh my God, it went up to like 300. I put in all of my savings into it. I thought to myself, well, this is getting so much hype. So at some point I made a post on Reddit saying that, oh, that like I dumped my whole wedding fund into the GameStop. Well, Robinhood is an interesting thing because it's just like a, it, it's a, a brokerage that's aimed at sort of a millennial investor base. Their app is not like the sort of investing app you'll see at one of the, the big brokers. It's much more of a, a gamified thing. And that then tied in with the pandemic uh, has attracted a whole different investor base. At some point, I get so close to paying off my wedding, but then I, I almost lose it all. Then I almost have I have enough to pay for a honeymoon as well, and then I almost lose it all. I'll either live to regret getting out too soon and kicking myself for missing the ride, or I'll live to regret getting out too late and losing way too much money. big part of the story was this sort of David and Goliath feeling that there's a bunch of kids on the internet who are taking on these billionaire hedge fund managers. After a while, it, you know, became into a movement. It's the people against something bigger than us. My investment was $13,000 and I took out $49,000. I got enough for the wedding, for the honeymoon, and I got it to the point where I'm like, okay, look, you don't have to take a gap year off after graduating from school. You can jump right into grad school. I don't make a lot of money in my job, especially not for where I live, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. I booked a total of a little bit more than 400000 in pre-tax profit. You know, I stuck with it, and then eventually GameStop right now is doing poorly, and I am at, currently sitting at a 5K loss, so. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate losers will be the crowd that, you know, jumped on the bandwagon later in the game, much later than I did. Some people took out credit card loans and deposited into their account. And uh, unfortunately, those people will be left to pay the price.